Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Jason with CTI, the Gas Detection Specialist. In this video, we're going to calibrate the GGVL2 Ammonia Vent Line Detector. It has a range of 0 to 1% of ammonia, or 0 to 10,000 ppm. This sensor is usually mounted outdoors on a rooftop. It is mounted after the SRVs, so always assume the refrigeration system could discharge at any moment. Stay clear of the discharge path and have your escape route plan. We'll start by having calibration gas that matches the full scale range of the sensor. In this video, I'll be using 1% ammonia balanced in air. We'll also need a regulator, a hose, a small slotted screwdriver, and a voltmeter capable of reading millivolts DC. Now we're ready to zero calibrate the sensor. Place the meter leads on the color coded test points, as I've already done. Now we'll put the sensor in calibration mode by pressing the cal mode button. The green LED should begin to flash. As you can see, the signal is slightly elevated, as you might run into in the field. Be sure the sensor is in clean air. When in doubt, apply zero air gas. Now we'll adjust the signal by turning the zero pot counterclockwise down to 40 millivolts. Now we're ready to apply the span gas and span the sensor. With full scale gas, we'll unscrew the cow port cover, connect the hose, and apply the gas. We're looking for the 4 milliamp signal to go full scale to 20 milliamps, which is also the 40 millivolt reading going to 200 millivolts on the voltmeter. We'll adjust the span pot to achieve 200 millivolts. Shut off the gas flow and remove the hose. The signal goes back down to 40 millivolts but might take up to an hour to do so. To speed up recovery time, zero air gas can be reapplied to the sensor. Cal mode will time out after four minutes. If the 200 millivolt span adjustment cannot be achieved, the sensor element may be at the end of its useful life and need to be replaced. For sensor element replacement, unplug the sensor cable from the transmitter and unscrew the sensor assembly. Install new sensor element and allow a one hour warm up time before calibration. Here's a few other important details about the GGVL2 NH3 calibration process. The four milliamp pot allows for fine adjustment of the zero signal. You can adjust this to achieve a perfect zero reading on whatever analog input device this sensor is connected to. Any adjustment of this pot needs to be done in normal mode, not cal mode. It is also very important that the sensor is zero calibrated upon installation, following the steps earlier in this video. Failure to do so will likely lead to elevated signals and false alarms. Unlike the previous solid state version of this sensor, this new catalytic bead style sensor cannot tolerate 100% gas, such as propane or MAP gas. If you are response testing or bump testing the sensor, do not use any gas that is 20% LEL or higher, as this can shorten the sensor life and cause a significant zero signal shift. In general, any high concentration gas exposures will require a re-zeroing of the sensor. Thank you for watching this video. For more info, call, click, or shoot us an email at sales at ctiengineering.com.